evens join the line. Just the three evens in the race. And the three odds as well. Set to go. Field of six at the 4-3-5. Stand by for a start. League one of the quaddy. Set to run. They're racing. Jonathan's dream away okay. Stella Korea missed the kick and Charlotte's hand went a miss about five metres after jumping. So before noon after all that comes out on top. Led by two lengths over Red Gum Flyer. Then Jonathan's Dream starting to wind up with Stella Korea. And then Green Can Lad and Charlotte's Hand about 15 lengths away. It's still before noon in front. The inside run now, Red Gum Flyer. Here's Jonathan's Dream still before noon in front. And there's a roughie, a huge roughie. Before noon went all of the way in the small field. One at three quarters, Jonathan's Dream. Third, Stella Korea. And then Red Gum Flyer, Green Can Lad, Charlotte's Hand last in. This is $71 in a field of six, and it gets home all of the way in 25-23. My goodness, before noon, it does have early speed, but you would have expected a few of them to be able to, uh, to reel her in, but that's not the case. Number three kept going in front, has led from start to finish. Beast Unleashed, Iris Eyes, Dean Williamson at Moey. Start number 90 for win number seven, and it'll jump at about $71 on the fixed odds. So... If you took a quaddy, I think the only way you could possibly be alive in a way now is uh, is have the field. Although, as I said prior to the jump, it does have early speed. And in Greyhound Racing, it's a good attribute to have.